happyhiphop.com. I love you, it. You, when you hear when you hear of, of, of movements, they sound so drastic and hard, but happy hip hop is compelling. Um, a little bit about me, first and foremost. Um, I started off in like 1999, 2000, putting out urban rap DVDs. My first uh, DVD series was Hood Life Cypher DVDs, and they were focused on rap battles. Um, and I would bring uh, artists from all over in different boroughs. So when I was growing up, it was hard for us to go to different boroughs without any type of beef. So I would bring rap artists to Cypress Avenue on 141 and to a community center. And it wasn't about money in 2000 and 1999. It was about uh, brotherly love, man, you know, and, and, and showing strong cohesions amongst our people and people of color in general. Of course, we had, you know, other races come through. But the fact is that we show uh, amazing support. You dig what I'm saying? And we shaked hands after the rap battles and then we moved on. And as time progress, you know, I put out um, crack DVDs. My crack DVDs did well. I partnered up with someone at the time, but we took off. So in um, 13 to 14 years, I put out like 25 DVDs and traveled with them. As time began to progress, I uh, 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 bled off into another field, which is, you know, doing all types of shows, actually. Um, we do, I got a gaming company. Uh, and now we currently have a, a website as well as a magazine called rawbattlemagazine.com. The site is doing well. Um, and we also put out like a standardized um, magazine, something tangible that you can touch. You dig what I'm saying? Um, we know in this day and time, magazines are so obsolete. But you know, we realize with artists, man, if they're on the corner or they're doing this, sometimes they, they like to pull out that magazine and say, yo, look at me, man, look at this article on me, actually. Because you know everything is at your, at your fingertips right now. You can go online on your phone, literally. But sometimes people don't want to do that. They want to read an article. So we put that, we put out, um, we've been putting out magazines for a little while, and it's been doing good. But simultaneously, we still had to actually put out the website, man. So I've been staying in the, I've been staying in the group of things, doing some consulting, a slew of other different types of things. Um, Talk to me, Gary. Way. I, I just want to know, where do you find the energy to do so much? You know, I think one of the greater things, man, about it is that the love for hip-hop keeps me going. The love. And, of course, you know, throughout the, throughout the trials and tribulations, we've seen hip-hop go like this, go like that. We've seen individuals in my age bracket that may get upset with, with what goes down or this and that or this type of music is that, that type of music is this. But reality, man, it's that that keeps me going, Gary. It's that that keeps me going. I can't even pinpoint it, but just the fact that, you know, music is evolving. I want to be in a no. And not the fact of being in a no because I want to be in the front of the camera, but I want to be in a no because I'm able to actually dictate or possibly put individuals in positions or create platforms such as this. You dig what I'm saying? And that's what keeps me going.